Eric King, here we are, about a week away from PWK's big event of the year, Halloween Mania. See, a couple weeks ago, Eric, you stood out there in Monterey, you told everybody you had a plan. Your plan, take the four of your best, four of your young guns, throw them in a match against a Rat Pack. Now, to me, that's a bad idea all in general, just because of the fact that what happens every single time you put those young guns anywhere near me, they end up laying. They end up on the ground, they end up beat up, they end up hurt. Fortunately, up to this point, it hasn't been that bad. But now, your master plan is throw those four kids in the ring with the four of us in a cage? Think about that for a second, Eric. You're not locking us in with them. You're locking them in with us. War Games rules, Eric. I don't know if you understand what that means. <clears throat> what that means is there ain't no pins. There'll be no lucky roll-ups. There'll be nobody going off a sunset flip and that ends the match out of nowhere. That's not how it works. War Games rules, somebody has to quit. Somebody has to be beaten down so bad that they can't go anymore. Eric, I've made it pretty clear. I'm willing to die for what I believe in. So getting me to quit is going to be a pretty tough task in and of itself. The other three gentlemen I've decided to associate myself with, pretty sure they're on the same page. Can you look in your heart and say the same thing about your four? Because if you can't, I don't see how you can win. But to try to sweeten the pot, to try to go ahead and be a man, to be a hero, to be Eric King, as he always is, you've decided that your plan is to put Pro Wrestling King on the line in this match. Eric, are you crazy? I'm not some big biker guy. I don't care about your company. I don't want to own this place. I don't have any... What am I going to do with it? But Eric, to take it from you, that would be worth it. Just so you couldn't have it. So you can ruin these kids. So you wouldn't have to be responsible for laying one down night after night, for putting them in hospital beds, for putting them in situations where they can't go on anymore. Not just because they're hurt, like physically, but their pride, their mental. Chasing them around with teddy bears, treating them like they're jokes. This would all stop. So understand that on October 7th in Berman, Indiana, Eric and Halloween Mania, it all ends. We're kicking you out on the street, man. You're going to be a man without a country. And then you're going to know what that feels like. So, bring Jaden quick. Bring Jerry Kripke. Bring the best in the world, Sedan. And bring Austin Fury. Put them in a cage. Lock the door. Whatever happens, happens, right? But understand that war is a cute word that you guys like to throw around. Oh, it's going to be a war. Hey, we're going to sell tickets. Come see this war. But what you need to understand is that for people like me, war is a 24-hour year-round thing. It's a war to wake up in the morning. It's a war to fight every bad impulse you've ever had. And it never stops. So, if you're going to start a war, you better be willing to fight a war. And more than that, you better be willing to finish one. Because we are. See you Saturday, Eric. Enjoy your last week as the owner of Pro Wrestling King.